Well, not all eyes are on the athletes in Tokyo this morning. Some are busy watching the Olympic athletes of tomorrow at the Junior Olympics. Lee talked with some of the track stars who are heading to Houston to compete this week. Good morning, Lee. Uh, good morning. Running, shot put, hurdles. Even race walking, some Bay Area youngsters will put their heart and talent on the line to bring home the gold, and we should remember their names. So we'll start out with knee pulls. We'll go knee pulls all the way to the white line. That's Coach Sherman. At his facility in the Citrus Park area of Tampa, he trains kids right on up to professional athletes. We pride ourselves in being able to, you know, truly be coaches and coach those and have the patience for our little people as they grow up and we see them, you know, learn new, new, new things. There we go. Get your height. Good, good. It's that dedication that will take 10 young athletes to the starting blocks of the Junior Olympics. Christian Cleary qualified for the 800 meter sprint. I love the kick at the end of it where you just get to finish that last part even though you're tired. And it's just the after feeling even. Even if you get last place, you still feel good because you know you tried your hardest. Hurdles won't stop Naya Armstrong and Marvin Peerless. In fact, Naya is competing in the pentathlon. Five events, which is long jump, shot put, high jump, 80 meter hurdles, and the 800. So which one is your favorite out of those? 80 meter hurdles. Among other events, sisters Naya and Aaliyah Gamble will also tackle the lesser known race walk. It looks easy and silly, but it's not at all. It's really hard. There's a lot more rules and it's way more tiring. <laughs> These and other kids from Vast Sports Performance will lay it on the line in 25 events at the Junior Olympics. Because it's a reflection of the work that they put in over the course of a period of time. And this just might be a high step on their way to many finish lines in the future. And some of the team leaves this morning. Others will join them in Houston on Saturday. The entire event goes until August 7th, which is the exact same time that the track and field <laughs> events are going on in the actual Olympics over in Tokyo. So I'm sure all eyes for them will be watching that as they, as they compete yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. And they had to, just like Olympians, they also had to qualify to go to the Junior Olympics, right? Yeah, back in June, a lot mm -hmm. of them, there was a regional event in Orlando. And if you medaled there, then you qualified to go. And a lot from that vast sports, pro, uh, mm -hmm. they have 25 different events oh, that wow. they will be that they qualified for that they will be participating in in Houston. Ooh, a lot of talent there. Yeah. We're proud and of them. And we're seeing a lot of Bay Area athletes right now in the yep. Olympics. This could be the next crop. That's what I said remember their names. Yep. yep. Thanks Lee. That was great. Team USA though.